Hey, welcome to this lesson on positive self-talk. It's a very important lesson because everything starts here in the mind. So every minute, you know, someone makes a decision to incorporate a fitness program that's transforming um, and then fits into their lives. And every minute someone falls off that same fitness program and loses all motivation to maintain, you know, a healthy lifestyle to, um, you know, continue their progress to finish their uh, physique transformation. So I've seen this happen because uh, of negative self-talk. So here you'll learn why negative self-talk can keep you from getting the results you want in your program. So negative self-talk is a destructive habit that forms an essential defense mechanism that we often develop to protect ourselves. Many people end up talking themselves out of actions that they may be scary or uncomfortable with, such as I can't do this, um, is really just a way of saying, I don't want to deal with the experience of doing this. So we are all strongly influenced by our feelings, which you know often determine how we respond to certain challenges and what actions we ultimately take. If the feelings are uncomfortable, uncertainty, fear, and negative self-talk arises, then we often decide not to take any action at all. So many people assume that if a past experience produced a certain result, nothing can be done you know, to change that experience in order to produce a different result. For example, I've tried every fitness program and diet there is, and I know what I should do, I just can't do it. But please understand that you can make, you know, the choice not to repeat old patterns of, you know, eating poorly uh, or under eating, as an example, staying inactive and thinking negatively. You have the ability to choose the emotions you have. And if you don't like feeling guilty, frustrated or doubtful, you can choose not to feel that way. You and no one else must decide what is best for you. To become successful at making healthy choices, you must avoid negative self-talk and start practicing positive thinking. Positive or negative self-talk can play a big part in your decisions, right? So be on the you know lookout, be aware for negative self-talk and notice how it influences your choices. <clears throat> you know, if you if you catch yourself, well, it's important that you catch yourself in the act of doing it. So notice how it can negatively affect your efforts to change. For example, perhaps you've just returned from a week's vacation where you took a break from exercise and, you know, watching macros and calories. And you tell yourself, um, you know, I feel so fat and out of shape. I'm back where I started. So you feel guilty, right? And frustrated. I don't have enough willpower to start all over again. Maybe I'm just meant to be, you know, out of shape. Well, feeling overwhelmed and discouraged, you give up. So first, reflect on the feelings that you had before you decided to give up. Re reflect on that. Your negative self-talk may overshadow the positive. Healthy habits you've learned before you went on vacation. And ask yourself if these feelings are reasonable. Are you really back to ground zero? Of course not. You accepted change and developed a new way of living and these skills will be yours forever, right? You just have to practice and keep practicing. The vacation might even have done you some good. I know a good week's, you know, break and rest does wonders for, you know, alleviating built up stress in the body, especially. Uh, so it's very beneficial for that. It's very beneficial for lowering stress hormones, such as cortisol. So now it's time now to tell yourself, it felt good eating whatever I wanted to and taking a break from exercising, I had a great time. But now I'm going to focus and refocus on the reduced calorie strategy. You know, if you're in a fat loss plan, you have to be in deficit and the right amount of calories, not just extreme deficits, that doesn't work. So you have your reduced uh, calorie strategy, right, in the program. 
you have your exercise program, your workouts, and your active lifestyle, right? Get more active. You burn way more calories being more active throughout the day. So when you can take the stairs, take the stairs instead of the elevator, right? Just little things like that. You want to go out, take a break, go for a nice walk. Um, or, you know, if, if, say, you're in your condo, if you're working from home, you have a bike, uh, you have a treadmill, you know, access to certain cardio equipment, hit it for 10 minutes. You don't have to do half an hour as long as you're staying a little bit active throughout the day. Right. So it's an active lifestyle that you enjoyed before your vacation. So there's no reason to, you know, beat myself up. I'll just take it one day at a time. Right. So think one day at a time. So rethink your previous decisions and take action that will move you forward towards more positive change. So here are several um, very easy steps you can take to keep a positive attitude and rid yourself of those negative thoughts forever. So step one, so every morning when you wake up, say something positive about yourself and your commi commitment to live a healthier lifestyle and your commitment to stay on the program, right? Because you want to see a transformation. For example, I like myself and I'm committed to a healthier lifestyle. I'm committed to getting leaner, I'm committed to building more lean muscle mass. I'm committed to looking better and feeling better, of course. Step two, after your workouts, always have a positive attitude about the workout and the way you're feeling at that particular moment. You know, your endorphins will be peaking and this will help you help you promote a more positive outlook. Even if the workout was grueling and it was tough and it was challenging and you hated it, never leave that gym on a negative Always, always turn to the positive. Step three, praise yourself for the hard work and commitment you made to complete your routine. Even if it wasn't the best workout you've had, it was still a good workout. Something's better than nothing is the attitude that you need to have. Step four, <clears throat> spread your positive energy to the rest of the world. So compliment at least one person daily. The compliment can be about someone's shoes, you know, smile, eyes or something that just pops out at you about that person. When you do this, more positive energy will come into your life. This is called the law of giving and receiving. And if you put positive energy out, it will come back to you. If you put negative energy out, it will also come back to you. Step five, before you go to bed, say something positive about yourself and reaffirm your commitment to live a healthier lifestyle. An example, I now set new and higher standards for myself and I step up to every challenge in a state of absolute certainty and I'm unstoppable confidence. As you begin to understand your reasons for negative self-talk, you'll find yourself recognizing it more and more quickly when it occurs. Eventually, as you practice, you'll be able to recognize and stop negative self-talk before it interferes with your decisions. So it's very important to practice positive thinking and to remind yourself that you're, you're a worthwhile person. You know, every little bit of effort that you put into yourself is worth it. Consistently acknowledge that you are making positive changes to improve your health. You should be proud of yourself. So visualize yourself as capable, happy, and confident. You know, these positive feelings will help the process of change. And in the next lesson, we're going to get into visualization.